Top of the morning to you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Today in AZ After Show. If you can call watching something on your phone or computer, tuning in. It's kind of an antiquated term, but that control room sure as heck is an antiquated. Look at, <laughs> Look at all the monitors. Fancy. Gorgeous. How does Director there. Craig keep them all straight? He's a genius. He's watching soap operas on two of them. Can you pick out which two? <laughs> The bold and the beautiful. Vanessa Ramirez, Paul Gerke, Rachel Cole chilling on the couch with you this morning. We have a jam-packed after show today. I know, and I'm looking forward to seeing the lion cubs once again. We have so baby cute. animals out at, is it what, Wildlife, wildlife World, World, World Zoo, Zoo wildlife Aquarium, Zoo. and Safari Park? I always juxtapose the wildlife in the world. Jimmy just likes to call it wild. We're out here at the Wild Zoo. The Wild Zoo. Wild thing. Just <laughs> keep it short. The WWZ. <laughs> Jimmy Q's out there live this morning talking about the babies. He's uh, also caught on his microphone saying something to someone off camera. But now we've got him. He's all ours. Jimmy, tell us what you're doing out there, and uh, let's meet some of your furry friends. Yeah, you know what? Uh, right now, we're just, uh, I don't think oh we're going to be able to go in there, Look are we, Chris? Anyways, oh, it's mating season. Those, those are peacocks. Those are my feathered friends. Yeah, isn't that kind of cool? They, they're all over this place. Beautiful. And it's beautiful. You got little parrots and all these different animals all over the place. I, I guess what we're out here, Christy, this is with Christy Morecambe. This is our friend from the Wildlife Animal Park Zoo. This is great. What do we have that's new? Oh my gosh, we have our lion cubs right now. We have a full baby animal nursery. So people can come out. They don't have to wait for Lion King to hit theaters uh -huh. to experience a little bit of Lion King because we have the lion cubs, the African warthogs, we have blackback jackals, all African, and then we have some really cute Red River hogs and lots of babies on exhibit. Which is neat because a lot of zoos, they keep those animals, they're, they're, you don't see them until they're a certain age, and now we can actually go back uh, behind the glass and you can see them. It's amazing because the public's actually able to come and be a part of our amazing breeding programs and our expert hand raising team because they're right there watching the team take care of the babies. And a lot of times, depending on the species, like the blackback jackals love to interact with the kids through the full pan panel acrylic and it's a lot of fun. Now here at the Wildlife Zoo, uh, it's, it's, it's different than other zoos. How would you say? It is. It's very special here. You get very close to the wildlife. It's very interactive. We have Arizona's largest exotic animal collection. So we have over 6,000 animals and over 600 different species, which is huge. So you're getting to see rare and endangered animals from all over the world. And you guys are open seven days a week? We are. We're open every single day of the year. We also have 10 rides for our guests to enjoy, and all of our rides incorporate animals. And the great thing is our rides are really for all ages. If you have a thrill seeker at home, you can take the zip line or the vertigo swing that takes you 100 feet in the air. Or you could take a little infant on the train or the tram. So it's so much fun. And for the adults, you guys have some good food and beverage as well. Oh my gosh. So we have some great food out here. We have several different cafes as well as Dylan's Barbecue Restaurant inside our aquarium. You can go have a drink with the flamingos or dine next to our 60,000 gallon shark tank. You know, I have to media sample that too. Oh, totally. I, I, we're going to have to do that. I think so. And you're going to have to be there with me as well when we do that. <laughs> I'll have to help you sample. Yeah, that, that's the way it works, just to get the facts, folks. This is really an awesome park. I love how, spe I love how close you can get to the animals here, as opposed to a lot of zoos you go to, and they're gone. They're, they're in the corner. You're 80 feet away. Here you can get up so close. You get so close and it's so interactive because we believe that's how children are truly inspired to want to conserve and protect wildlife for future generations. So with all the interactive exhibits we have in our petting zoo and our stingray touch tank, it's just great for all ages. You're out here in Litchfield Park uh, and you guys are open seven days a week. Where can people get, do you guys have, ever have specials or deals? We do. So you can go to our website, wildlifeworld.com. We have a buy one, get one free right now and select Hickman's eggs. And we always have coupons out there. Lots of stuff going on with our social media. So definitely check it all out. All right, guys, back over to you. It's a great experience. I've been out here many, many times and they really do deliver. I love it. It's probably my, my, the most favorite zoo I've ever been to. And I've been to the San Diego Zoo as well. Oh, so see, it's compare and contrast to California. So that's pretty good. High ranks out there in Litchfield. You know, we got we got to see Bebop, the little porcupine yes, baby this so morning. so cute. And all the jackals, they were all snuggled up together. We Maybe thought the Jimmy did something to them because they were all in the corner. Yeah, all they were freaked out. Yeah. We were like, what happened, Jimmy? Why are they all hiding in the corner? Hey, Jimmy, we're taking questions from everybody watching in the comment section right now that you can ask uh, Christy oh, there. Oh, okay. Uh, we got one for you right now. Yeah, uh, we're Dave taking questions know, from our viewers. When do male lions start to grow their mane? When do male lions start to grow their manes? 
That's a good question. And it varies a little bit from lion to lion, but usually at a year, they're starting to look a lot more mature, starting to look a little mangy as the mane comes through. And over the next couple years, that mane starts to really grow and develop, but it continues to grow and develop for their whole life. So you can usually tell the difference between a younger lion and an older lion by looking at their mane, because the older they get, the fuller and darker the mane gets, and that's what attracts the ladies out there. Okay, and there are different species of lions. There's not just one African lion. There are. There's uh, species, different species, different subspecies. We actually have a white lion out here at Wildlife World that you can come see. That's really amazing. And not all lions develop that big, full, beautiful mane that you think of when you think of the iconic lion. Yeah, I know when Paul grows out his big, thick beard mm -hmm. and it gets dark, that also attracts the ladies. The lionesses really appreciate <laughs> Only that. Only in November. I get clawed up. <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> Oh my goodness. We saw the little lion cub. She said they're super vocal even though they were only three weeks old. We were just like ooing and aahing over them. What did you see how big they were? Yeah. Three weeks? Yeah. You, 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 you can hear their roar up to five miles away when they're adults. That's insane. We can hear them all over your live shot this morning, JQ. All right, we're going to give you two a little bit of a break here. If we get any more questions from the viewers, we'll get them to you right away. We're going to move along with the after show. Don't get clawed by any big cats out there, JQ. Yeah. Just the little ones. Um, we got one for you in just a minute, Jimmy. If you want to uh, ask, we still have it here. How young are the lion cubs and what age are they full grown? So, um, oh, he's, he's got his shirt on too. You guys want to take that? I love the yeah, the is Trust a the Weatherman bolt. shirt. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Jim, if you can still hear me, we do have a question from We've Samantha. We've been giving these away all... Okay. You got, you got me? Yeah, how young are Go. the lion cubs and what age are they full grown? How young are the lion cubs, these ones here, and how, uh, how long does it take them to become full grown? So these guys are just a couple weeks old. They were born on April Fool's Day. And usually when they're several months old is when they start getting more powerful and even at this age they're still wild animals their claws are still sharp but after several months we start introducing the protective barriers because as adults we don't have free contact with our, any of our big cats and just in a couple weeks they're gonna start being introduced to meat so they develop pretty quickly yeah and let me tell you you cannot raise any wild animal to be gentle they're wild they're wild yes and it's sometimes easy to forget when you come out here and you see little lion cubs but the lion cubs are wild animals and even at that small age an animal with so much power even if they're just playing can cause some damage yeah so there you have it any other questions yeah yes. explain the shirt now i'm sorry we interrupted you before we wanted to talk about lions and stuff <laughs> it's just something i grabbed out of my closet actually if you want to know the real story yeah I was at a baseball game and I ran into a, a nice gentleman that had this and I took a picture and I posted it and it went crazy that uh, my wife got me this sh shirt. She went and had to buy me one as well. And so, yeah, that's it. I, I just think it's kind of funny. Kim, JQ's number one fan. Yeah. I know, right? We so love her. Cute. We love her. Schnookums. 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 Uh, be safe out of the zoo, schnookums. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you a little bit. Hey, let's get to our ICYMI. If you didn't watch today in AZ, we had a story that had all of us talking on and off camera about some new words you might find the next time you play Scrabble. Merriam-Webster has released its new words list. There are 640 additions to the dictionary this year. Among the words that you can tell your friends, no, that is actually a word. Swole, no. which is someone who's muscular. Buzzy, someone or something with lots of attention and speculation. Another word getting a lot of attention this morning, stan. So you what is that, that one? No, I don't use so, that. Okay, so a fan of the show, for example, that watches today in AZ every morning would be standing for us. It's somebody who's really sports. into something, like an enthusiastic fan. An yeah. advocate. You could stand for a sports team. It actually stems from an Eminem lyric. Remember that uh, song, Well, I, that's what I was going to say. I know Eminem said it. Yeah, so that's actually its origin. And those words join other millennial speak lingo, like rando, adorbs, and fave. Those are all words now, so feel free to use them in your next game of Scrabble. The day I'm quoting Marshall Mathers is going to be a rough day, so <laughs> don't count on it, kids. How dare you? He's a poet, he and he is... A uh, native son, extremely talented to Michigan, like no myself. argument. Talented, yeah. Extremely talented, but I don't stand for for much of anything that comes out. I stand for Vanessa's traffic. <laughs> I do too. Ah, thank you, because I'm so adorbed, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. <And swole. laughs> yeah. I just tried to get you a flex on the air. <laughs> Showing off. Oh, uh, Vanessa and her. Hey, hitting the orange theory. Though. So which of those yeah. words is most ridiculous to you guys? Hop in the comments. Well, we already know hers. Know. Stan. You, you don't like Stan. Stan. I mean. 
if you're going to stand, why don't you just stand for something? Why don't you stand for a sports team? You know what I mean? It's yeah. just too, like, similar to something you would actually say. But it's from the lyric of his song. Like, yeah, I know. I know. But I feel like Swole's been around forever. Swole has been around yeah. forever. Yeah. But it's a different level when you become a part of the Merriam-Webster Webster Dictionary. Like, yeah. that's a whole nother, like, that's a real word now. It's a game changer. Yeah, like 20 years from now, kids will just look at that and be like, this is just another word. And the kids don't read the dictionary. You're not muscular, you're <laughs> Swole. There are no kids at home sitting here with a giant dictionary Gosh, like, remember, like, ooh, spelling swole. tests and oh, man, those are the best. Vocab tests, oof. Nobody's going to be able to spell in, like, 20 years at all. It's all no, going to be All autocorrect. autocorrect. You're going to have yeah. little nodules or modules you put up to your head. Nodes is the word I was looking for. And it's just going to read your mind. And then it's going to type out what you're thinking. And then you're probably not far it. off. Wait, let's see what Russell said today. I cannot believe I missed this one. It's wild. What? Oh, Russell, I'm going to post the stuff online. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you can still see it. You're going to catch baby animals. Oh, my goodness. So the weird words, what else did we have today? We also had horses in the show this morning, which was way cool because we've been everywhere A to Z in Chandler this week. And Monica Garcia was out at the Coley Equestrian Center in Chandler <laughs> riding Bubba the horse, which was so cool because even though he's an older fella, he was, he was being well-mannered while Monica gave it a go on horseback this morning, and she did quite well. Yeah, they, so. her and the other guy were right next to each other while she was interviewing him. I yeah, like, the whole time. Bubba's old enough to buy a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> Ten-year-old horse, you got to be careful. Not at Walgreens, though. That was yeah, some more news that came out. Uh, 21 at Walgreens. We're just giving headlines now on the show. Drugstore chain, hey, they announced September 1st. Uh, you have to be 21 years that's of age good. to buy tobacco products. I think so, too, but that's because they got called out because they were, like, one of the worst drugstore chains to be selling to minors, obviously, by accident. So now you have to be 21 years old if you're going to buy tobacco products. I'm sure. Um, so I'm an advocate for the American Cancer Society, and that's like sure. a big push for them to sure. try to, you know, up, increase the age right. for children, for kids to buy cigarettes and so forth. And even tanning, because you can tan at right. the age, you know, until well, 18 or, or age 18. So now they're trying to make it to like 21. Do you remember that? Like going to the tanning beds. Oh, gosh. As if sitting in the sun is even better. But still, nonetheless, I mean, you're getting that full force for 15. I mean, it's bad. At least in the natural sun, you get vitamin D. Right. Yeah. And you're not out there too long. And usually you have sunscreen on. Thoughts on SPF? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm just letting you go. I'm well, you know what? There's not the a, there's not a lot of people. We have a bit of a week Wednesday conversation happening right now because we really gave everybody everything in the two and a half hours of our newscast, and I think they just went off to work, or maybe we're not on air. I don't know. No, I think we're on. We're not screaming into the abyss because Russell's here with us. He and yeah, Mike Shaw's got a question every day. Uh, let's get to the uh, newest Where's Gurky going clue, oh, shall okay. we? In case you guys haven't heard, um, I am headed out of town literally right after this show and going to my first destination. Each of the next four Fridays, I'll be in a different city. Here's your clue as to city number one. <laughs> I thought this went up to 11, but it's only 10, I see. Hey, Gurky, where y'all going? Oh, wouldn't you like to know, Miss Ivor? You'll find out Friday just like everybody else. Hey, that's my hat. Sorry. No, thanks. Oh. So that's clue number two. Clue number one also posted on the Facebook page. Let me say two things about the clues. Okay. One, not everything in those videos is a clue. Is relevant. Some things have been placed intentionally right. to throw you off. Okay. You have to, as the viewer, should you choose to accept your mission, figure out which things are actual clues and which things are just Chekhov's guns, red herrings, so to speak. Um, two, as Freud might say, Sometimes a hat is just a hat. Right. You have the backwards hat. That's it. That's the, Dr. There's a lot Seuss of hats hat there. And the hat. Or what's it called? Dr. There's got to be, yeah, there's got to the be a Dr. Seuss hat. line in there about where are you going. And, oh, the places we go. There it is. Thanks Some, for telling yeah, me. You're welcome. Came to me just like that. It. Wait a second. What's that, Producer Alyssa? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. we got some breaking news to get to. Stop Apparently, it. Jimmy has been mauled in a vicious lion attack. We'll take you live to the scene of the incident right now. Jimmy, are you <laughs> Don't okay? Say that. Yeah, no, we yeah. actually Oh, he's okay. He's I'm okay. okay. We actually have the perpetrator, the lion that that's it actually didn't attack me. It snarled at me. It gave me a weird look. <laughs> oh, it was a verbal they're attack. really nice. Look at that sweet baby. Do it look again. at that. They're oh loving this back at the station. Christy, tell us about this guy. So we have three little male lion cubs in here. We're inside our baby animal nursery here at Wildlife World. They're just a couple of weeks old. They were born on April Fool's Day. And you can see they're already moving around, getting more independent, and very vocal. Yeah, and uh, now the, the public's not allowed to touch them, but you can actually get as close as Chris is right there to the glass. Absolutely. 
Really? So your camera guy is just on the other side of the glass, and you can see how close you can get to these animals. It's a great way to get children close to rare and endangered wildlife and see these animals being cared for inside our baby animal nursery. And you said these guys will get up to like 30, 40 pounds in the wild? <laughs> so these guys are the second largest cat in the world, and the lions can get up to 500 pounds. They get massive, and the females are usually around 300 pounds, so they're considerably smaller. And lions are the only cats that are sexually dimorphic, meaning you can just look at them and tell the difference between males and females as adults. Sexually dimorphic. That's kind of like our anchor team as well. <laughs> now, now, when they're full grown oh, out hey, here, man. how much meat would, would a male eat? every day oh my gosh they eat dozens of pounds a day so they go through lots of meat lots of treats and lots of enrichment oh wow guys what do you think any questions out there from our viewers can i scratch their bellies <laughs> that that's not really a question from the viewers that's more of a personal now the viewers want to know hold on what's what's the most popular exhibit it's got to be this right yes i'm thinking Whoa. Whoa. What, what's the most popular exhibit Okay, that's a really good question. It's gotta be yeah, and it, that's a hard one. Oftentimes it is our baby animal nursery because people Everything like to come and see what we're doing with our really successful survive. breeding What's programs and watch these little babies being cared for. I'd have to say right now, it's definitely the baby animal nursery, but the Lori Parrot feeding is also really popular year round with especially children because you can go in there and hold the parrots and there's really a lot of interactive things out here. Yeah, and it is, it is a wonderful, wonderful zoo to come out here. You can get so close to all these animals, young and old. And you guys are open all the time? We're open every single day of the year. You can come out. We open at 9 o'clock this morning. The zoo stays open until 6, and the aquarium stays open until 7. We came out here at 3 o'clock in the morning, and Christy was here. She's just hanging out. Just chilling. We didn't even plan this. I'm like, hey, can we come in and do a lot? She said, come on in. <laughs> I was so excited to see you guys. It was because she cooked us bacon and eggs. It was wonderful. <laughs> hey, guys, Jamie wants to know how much those cubs weigh when they're born, because these are only a few weeks old, and they're so tiny. What do they weigh when they're born? Because they're only a few weeks old. Oh, yeah. So they're only a couple pounds. And they start developing and gaining weight really fast. So when they're born, their eyes are closed. And it takes a little while for their eyes to open up and to start moving around like this. But they're very vocal at birth. And they sound a lot like they do now. But at about a year, their vocalizations get a lot deeper. And they start working on their roar. And as adults, their roar can be heard up to five miles away. I guess they develop so fast, too, because of the environment they're from so dangerous. They have to like get, get up to par quickly. Absolutely. Cause they, when they're cubs, they are very vulnerable to predators out there in Africa. And that's why they have those spots. A lot of people are thrown off because they don't think of lions having spots. But as cubs, those spots help them blend in and camouflage from predators. These guys are great. So JQ, what do you guys I'm, think? I'm with Carol on this one. She says, baby anything, so cute. Yeah. Yeah. I know you got the lions there. Is there any way you guys can scoot over to the jackals now? Oh, the jackals. Yeah, let's see the jackals the one more time. Cups. It's Everyone loves the wild animals. Grace has let's got go a great point. Let's go to the jackals. Point. Go to the jackals. She said it's more exciting viewing wild Maybe animals, and she's right. It's better than us just rambling like we tend to Look do on the show. It. Or we can just ramble over wild animals. Oh, they're getting fed. What are they eating? Jimmy, they're, Christy, what are they eating? They eat, they, they, they eat the mother's milk. Oh, they're fighting. Hold up. What are they eating? So, right now they are getting formula. These guys get formula as well as uh, some solids in their diet. They get formula different times throughout the day, and then they're solids. They're developing very quickly as well. Oh, uh, how long before they start eating solids? They're actually already eating them, oh. and they will be <laughs> hunting on their own at six months out in the wild, and then they can go off on their own and start their own little packs at about a year. They jump like cats I know. at this young age. These guys are tiny. How old are they again? So these guys are around six weeks, I believe. Wow. They're, they're, and they're, okay. once again, the wild, they have to develop quick. Oh, yeah. So these guys, they develop quickly as well because... The wild uh, isn't so nice to baby animals. Oh, oh, hey, look, they oh, jump oh, like cats. We're making Do you the see the that puppies. vertical? Jailbreak. <laughs> yeah, these guys, they're really good hunters. They're really cool. There they go. <laughs> She's just catching jackals <laughs> as they jump up. They'll scavenge, and they will eat jump anything from plants and berries and carrion and really whatever they can get a hold of. Jimmy, what's it feel like? What do you think, guy? Do you like doing this? Would you like to be a TV reporter? Do you trust the weatherman? <laughs> Oh my gosh, they are so adorable. He's a good boy. Somebody <laughs> says the Rusko. Yeah, the Rusko. So
so I, you know, you think of like Animal Planet. What if you put the little lion cub in with the with the jackal pup? And Not see, sure that would go great. Oh, no, but I think no, it would because they're just babies. They're so they playing. like you know. They, However, they the paw of the lion would just like. Whoosh. Those are big yeah. hawking paws. Yeah, a little yeah. baby Animal Planet version. Series. There it goes. There it goes. He goes. Look at he's like. Hey Jimmy, one more question. Uh, Russ wants to know if they have any reptiles out there at the Wildlife World Zoo, or is it just uh, animals of the more furry oh, and cuddly? Tell persuasion. us about the reptiles. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you love reptiles, you will love coming out here because we have such a variety of species. We have Dragon World, which has several different large reptiles. And we also have our Tropics of the World building right over here that has an open glass snake exhibit. It throws everyone off. You have People crocodiles too, right? Oh Big ones. Oh my gosh. We have a giant saltwater crocodile. We have an albino alligator, a 20 foot reticulated python a, a reticulated huge, python yeah not just your ordinary run of the mill python what is that mean? asian water monitor back in adventure land so there's reptiles everywhere and then of course my favorite the little heel monsters oh. so fun uh, what is it again when you can't tell when you can tell the difference between the sexes sexually dimorphic sexually dimorphic and the only reason we can say that is because we're on the internet you're allowed to say yep. anything sexually dimorphic well, remember science. that it's science <laughs> science Science. Oh, wow. What's a reticulated python, Jimmy? How's that different from uh, mom and pop's python. python at home? What's, you know, the what's a reticulated up with? python? Why? Why retic <laughs> What is reticulated? So the reticulated pythons get huge. They get, can get over 20 feet long. They get a lot larger than the Burmese python, which is down in Florida. You hear about the Burmese python being an invasive species. They're both constrictors. All your pythons are going to constrict their food. They're non-venomous, and uh, they're going to swallow their food whole. Any anacondas? We do. I love the anacondas. Anacondas don't so want none you unless you got. You have to look at their face because to me, anacondas have the cutest look snake face. Dictionary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paul's rapping right now. Something about anacondas. Anacondas <laughs> don't want none unless you got some. <laughs> okay. All right. This is as good a place as any to leave it. Oh, Christy, wow. Jimmy, thank you so much out of the Wildlife World Zoo out in Litchfield. Go check it out sometime. Say hi to the baby animals. Jackal Those lions are going to be full grown by the time our viewers get out there. Get out Can there, you yeah. believe that? Oof, it's going to be crazy. And they said they have a white lion out there, and they got the albino gator, and then a saltwater crocodile. That's crazy that they're open every day. Every day, yeah. 365. If I don't get to pet a baby animal, animal today, I am going to be That's how so I feel. ticked off. I hope like, someone I'm brings just, a dog into the office. Today. I just have an urge to pet a cute fuzzy thing now after watching it all morning. I'm telling you. Anybody? No? I give myself head scratches as we say goodbye. <laughs> I was waiting for you to like pet one of our heads. Uh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to you ladies without your permission. Bye. 7.30, same time on the couch tomorrow. I'm not going to be here. I'm going to my Where's Gerky going destination. But the show's in good hands with Rachel Cole and the lovely Mitch Carr. Uh, Vanessa will be here too. And Jamie <laughs> yeah. will be back in the house. We can't let him play with animals every day. He'd never come to the studio. We'll see you guys at 4.30 tomorrow morning on Today in AZ. Have a good one.